Yeah, this should do it. Bang, bang, bang! Uh oh. Oh shit. What's that? What's happening? Trouble. Give it up. The pyramid's surrounded. <laughs> I'll find out what the trouble is. Watch <laughs> Stubber doesn't pull any tricks. If he does, shoot him in the head, not through the heart. Why does it matter? He'll be dead either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. <sighs> you you would rather die to the to, to this joke, uh, Stalbart? Come on, come on, man. The crates and drums were sealed, and I. What about the incense? I can't do anything. I think I would uh, now talk to. Before that, I should have saved shit. What up, fool? Drop the gun or I shoot. <laughs> you wuss. Don't worry yourself. My finger isn't loaded. Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set George free and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. I mean, Kazakh you're all already dead. a general. You may want to ask Ubier, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Ubier is in Europe. Sure, he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Mm. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Come on, Raoul. Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titipoko. Oh yeah, let's go. Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. <laughs> Stick him up! <laughs> that is absolutely fabulous. What up, George? Hold still, George. I don't want to sacrifice you by accident. <laughs> idea how glad I am to see you. They were going to cut your heart out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on. Okay, let's go. We're safe. This is a dead end. We're toast. <laughs> Uh-oh. I know, Tiripoko. I'm not too happy here either. He knows this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid, the house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime, take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might bring you luck, I hope. Mm -hmm. You managed to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. Mm, I don't know about that. Whoa. Is he trying to say something? It was Titipoco. It was Georges. Just rescued from certain death and not looking suitably grateful. <laughs> suitably grateful? This was a time for action, not talk. George? Yeah? There was nothing I wanted to talk to George about just then. I don't have uh, all of them. I'll probably take control of the... Outside was certain death. Freeze? By the door was a pattern picked out in blue. 
On the wall was an intricate pattern in blue and gold. Okay. I guess I'm uh, operating, uh, uh, playing as uh, Nico uh, the as the final hour. Really? The pattern seemed to have only religious significance. Are we sure about that? I mean, uh, how do we know where to put the uh, the slots? The lever was made of stone. There was a large image on the wall of a man in ceremonial garb. More usefully, there were also a couple of levers. Oof. The lever was very difficult to move and appeared to do nothing anyway. Maybe I can allow George to actually... Uh, maybe we needed to move it at once. Still, Heave. no good. Yeah, I need uh, George's uh, help. George? Yeah? George, a lever. I can only pull one lever at a time, and I think we need to pull both together. Okay, I'm up for that. One, two, three! Oh, no! Ah, oh, shucks! Oh, the eclipse! Raoul, there's something suspicious. This sacrifice! <laughs> Where is it? Nico was here with Titipoto. They set him free. I couldn't stop them. You idiot! I should have strangled you at birth. Oh, my goodness. Soft, he wouldn't have hurt you. I know that. The darkness of this honey is almost upon us, and we have no sacrifice to appease this Catlipoca. Have you any idea what your incompetence will cost us? I think so. And I'm glad. What? The Mayans weren't fools. Tezcatlipoca should stay exactly where they put him. Finally got some backbone from somewhere, huh? Shame it's so late in the day. I'd rather die than see you in Karzak with the devil's power. Fine, we are still a sacrifice show. Uh-oh. The eclipse begins. Pablo, kill him! Nico was right all along, but it's still not too late. Come on then, Pablo. Let's see who sacrifices who. Are you gonna die? Whoa! Watch out! What place is this? I was in some sort of strange room. Tiles and dials. The priests who designed this place must have known how to use them. I was going to have to figure it out for myself if I ever wanted to get out of here. Uh, where the hell is George? I thought he'd actually slide, uh, two with you. Well, I guess that's that. Titipoka and I arrived at the pyramid, uh, to find George being led up the stairs. We clearly didn't have much time. When I finally managed to reach the top of the pyramid, I discovered they planned to sacrifice George at the, at the height of the coming eclipse. Uh, my only hope was to get rid of Pablo and deal with the sniveling uh, coward, uh, Graciento. A few, moment lay, a few moments later, with the help of a handy ammo belt and a fire, Pablo had been distracted, and I was uh, freeing George. But with our uh, descent uh, blocked, our only option was to head into the pyramid itself, with Tatli Poco following closely behind. We soon found ourselves at a dead end, but it didn't take us long to find a way through. Unfortunately, George and I have been separ separated yet again. God damn it. And he has two of the stones, I believe. Well, he has one of the stones. The other one uh, is with Tatli, uh, with uh, with uh, Titipoko. It was the great stone head that, that spat me out. It reminded me of an ex-boyfriend, on both counts. 
On both counts, what does that mean? The room was dominated by an enormous device, decorated with the usual Mayan motifs. It held two great discs, each covered in glyphs. Okay. It's probably gonna be a big puzzle here. It was the great disc machine. The great disc machine? Is that uh, what we are calling that? Oh, look at these. There were several tiles with glyphs on them. There were several tiles with glyphs on them. There was Okay. There was a statue of a monkey. Some sort of religious significance? Damn. The monkey held a board containing more tiles with colored glyphs on them. And that monkey uh, looks uh, looked uh, pretty psyched. Wow! I'm carrying I'm carrying tiles. Oh. What's with that sign? Hmm. Yeah, monkeys actually look uh, kind of creepy. <laughs> the monkey held a board containing more tiles with colored glyphs on them. Hmm. Can I interact with these? The tile didn't move at all. The tile... The tile... None of them, huh? The tile... What about this one? The tile didn't want to move. The tile... The tile... All of them? The tile... Di the tile... Di this one moved, though. The tile moved slightly. The tile... Di the tile... The tile... I didn't check this out. The tile did... I think I, uh, I need to... Uh... The tile didn't move... Huh. The tile... This one will move? The tile... The tile... So this, o this is the only one that moved, huh? The tile didn't want to move. The tile didn't... The tile... The tile did The tile did Maybe this one? The tile did uh, I'm not understanding the puzzle here. Can I move these discs? I can. Hmm. I probably need to... Yeah, this will work, I think. Right? That was the corresponding... Uh... The dial didn't... And that's it, right? Or maybe I need to push this too. The dial didn't want... The tile did. Maybe I need uh, every two uh, tiles that correspond. That actually corresponds. I need to actually. Uh, move them. What? What's this one? Uh. It's this one, huh? So I need to... Uh, I need to uh, line it up with this one, huh? I think that's what I think uh, I need to do. It did move, alright. So I am doing the right thing here. Nice. 
Uh, this puzzle will take me a while to do, actually. Mainly because it's gonna be tedious to do. And with that, I need... Uh, uh, okay, I need to move it one, two, three times. If I do this, it'll make it faster. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's the one, right? Uh, no, it's uh, it's the one after it. Okay. Push that. Push that. There you go. Huh. Okay. Then I am missing something here. Hmm. I probably need to uh, push two of these and then two of these, or two of these and then push another one here. So it's gonna be this, this, and this. I think. I think. Uh, I think that's it. Maybe. Mm. Well, I think I need to move here and then press this. So, because I want, I want the palm tree. Also, I like the uh, <laughs> the Pog Champ uh, statue here. <laughs> Pog. <laughs> uh, I think I need to stay here and do this twice. Uh, and, uh, push this. Alright, so now we can push this, I believe. Okay. The dial moved inwards and clicked home. Yeah. So that's the puzzle here. So I need to match these. Uh, for me to push these buttons, I have to match them here, and after I match the, whatever corresponds here, uh, I'll have to push it in. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Kinda boring, kinda boring puzzle, but hey, we actually managed to do it, so... So, yeah, let's try doing this one. What does this one cor correspond to? The greens? Okay. Okay. So we need to push these two, and after that... The greens with the... This one is not uh, is not uh, here, right? No, this one definitely is not here. Oh no, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we can do it. I need to stand here, lady, please, and then move this twice. One, two, and we push the tile. This should be the one. And then we will be working on... We'll be working on this one. It 
Which is, uh, uh, I need to be here, I believe, and then push this one, two, and three. Yeah, you, you guys see uh, see the logic here, right? Uh, I mean, it is pl plain enough. And then I need to uh, adjust this with adjust it with this one. So I need to be standing here. Give it a push. One, two, and three, and push this uh, tile. And then push this one in, and should and it should lock. Yeah, this worked. So what else? Uh, green cowboy hat. <laughs> I'm gonna call it the green cowboy hat. Uh, so I'm gonna need to stand here. Turn it twice. And then, what does the green cowboy hat has? It has uh, uh, this one, so we will only need to turn this once. And then push this in. This is a flower, right? A flower... So I need to... Uh... Huh. Actually I might be uh, needing this one, to, to be honest. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be needing this one, so... Yeah. Is that the trick here? Again? And then push this one. After that, we need uh, we need this one. Uh, yep. So I need to turn this uh, twice here. One, two, and which one was it? Uh, the green background one. There's no green background one though. This is a blue one, not a. This is blue, not green. It's the uh, closest thing to it though. It's the closest thing to it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it's actually gonna work or not. So I need to go to the uh, left side here. And turn this only once. And yep, I should push this one. And push this one. Alright. One last tile. Uh, huh. I need to turn this one. Uh, no, no, sorry. No, no, no. You need to stay here and turn this twice. One. Two. Uh, let me take a look.
Yes, 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 yes. So. I need to turn. Uh, yeah, I need to turn this one. One. Two. Three. And four. Push this in. Uh, I need to put the X's. So I need to push this once. Mm. I need to go, yeah, I need to go here and push this twice. Stand here and push these twice. Hell yeah, Aztec Punk Champ. This is it. We have finished. And let's push the final the tile. tile. Didn't move at all. Oh, I need to. <laughs> I need to uh, push this first. And then push the, f the last tile here. And there you go. Oh, we opened a path. All right. <laughs> Et voilà. George once told me that there's an act to finding secret doors. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of it. It was the secret exit that I had revealed by solving the glyphs puzzle. Alright. Kind of boring puzzle, but hey, we did it. So, I thought, this is it, you know? This is true love. <laughs> anyway, I have to leave for a few weeks, and when I come back, what do I find? Uh. Damn right. And with who? Labano, that creep. Mm. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. It's complaining to Tati Poco. All right. So we're here. I guess Tati Poco will, will have to. Oh, heck. Looks like another dead end, Tati Poco. Any ideas? I don't think that's a dead end. Tati Poco, you should be careful. I was hoping for something <laughs> a little more constructive. Never mind, I'll have a look around. Hmm. Can Teddy Bilko help me with that? <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, viewers. I should. <laughs> I'm not professional. I should uh, mute. But uh, my sneeze comes a little bit faster. I should be able to mute uh, uh, my mic. But hey. There was a torch in a sconce by the doorway. It was Titi Poco, a new friend and a good listener to boot. Good listener, huh? I probably should save uh, here, right? Goddamn, viewers. 98%. This is it, viewers. This is it. A really creepy statue. The figure held a skull and a bowl. Probably for a heart to go in. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Nanda's Dank has the uh, Pog Champ statue. There was something interesting lurking in the shadows, but I couldn't make out what it was. Oh, I can't check these out? I guess I'll, I'll talk to Tipoko to uh, light that uh, torch out. I had nothing else I wanted to ask the little guy. No, you do. Let him light that torch. Light it up. Novelty cigarette lighter, as it turned out. This game is the best. 
I like it. There was a picture of somebody holding a torch and another guy with a lever. The lever was real. Well, uh, let's hit it. Well, there was nothing else to do around here, so I pulled the lever. You're gonna die. Nothing's happened. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate that? Whoa. Did you ball go? Oh my. Ah, shit. <laughs> Titipog is back. And these uh, games uh, Wait, are hard to make. <laughs> I had no idea where I was, no idea where the others had got to, and time was running out to stop Karzak. Still, I wasn't dead yet, so it wasn't all bad news. Mm. So what? Uh, what's in there? The hell is that? A there was torch. an unused torch up on the wall. Another doorway led out of the room. Led out the of the room. There was a lever on the wall. The torch didn't look like it was going to burn for much longer. Okay. Another There's door. A huge doorway in the far wall. Damn. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's the other torch, huh? I guess I'm gonna pick this up. Assume that I need to light this torch with it. Which, uh, doesn't make sense. That one died? Shit. Uh, this is unusable, huh? The torch could stay there until I really needed it. There okay. was an unused torch up on the wall. Huh. Let's hit the lever. A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door. Let's hit that thing again. All right. What's inside here? Every time I think this place can't get any spookier, it does. Another, Another lever. one of those stone levers. There was a lever mounted on the wall. Two of them. And a stone head. The carving reminded me of Lane for some reason. Lane? Who the hell is Lane? There's no other path here. Can I interact with the stone head? The carving, even if I'd wanted to, which I didn't. What if I hit this? Is, is there some sort of a logic behind this? There probably is. There probably is. Gonna try heading this one. Ah, this closed the uh, closes both of them. But I probably need to close both of them while I'm inside uh, one of the rooms. I really don't know. There's nothing I can do here for now. So I'm charming. What? That's definitely an a more interesting room. There's also a lever here. To the left here. of the door was a stone lever. Why are you calling it uh, calling it a lever? There was a stone lever to the right of the doorway. Lever. Leave me alone. Uh, statue. Lovely. Looks like my school gym teacher. It was an enormous stone doorway. Can we interact with the statue? Like double as an incense burner. An incense burner, huh? Well, I have coal. Where will this lead? Yeah, let's go here. Oh, back to this uh, way. Okay, so I had.
this and this. Okay. Well, I don't know what I need to do here, but I will assume that I need to have all the doors uh, closed. Right? A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door. Ah, did it actually open that door? I think it did. Guess I have to do this. Can I do this again? Should this work? Maybe I need to leave uh, this open. A stone sl Then head this one. I think that's the idea. Right? To have all the doors uh, closed. I think. So, what's going to do? looked here? like it doubled as an incense burner. Coal? Probably need to put the coal inside. No? I guess now I need the... Uh, the torch? I probably do need the torch now. Let's pick it up. The torch could stay there until I really needed it. I do really need it. No? There's no other way for me, right? Yeah, that's it. There was nothing I could do to the carving, even if I'd want... How rapouche. The carving reminded me of Lane for some reason. Hmm, there was one thing that I actually noticed, though. Uh... There was a lever on the wall. There's actually no other hints here. But I noticed that the doors, uh... They look, both, uh, both of them look red in the back. But this one, actually, once you close it, is actually yellow from the inside. A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door.
But from this side, this one looks red. Maybe there's something uh, on the doors, actually. There's some sort of hint. Yeah, that's the it one. It was an enormous stone doorway. The door was sealed by a massive stone slab. Let me go check uh, how that door looked like. Yeah, this door from this side. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. Uh, should have actually checked what's written on that. An impressively lintel doorway. I couldn't get through that slab with my bare hands. Impressive. The doorway had been sealed. I really don't know how how that door looks from there. Is there a hint on these doors, actually? Or am I overthinking things? Like, I still don't know what I need to do, other than, you know, probably burn some incense here. Uh, pull this one? Yeah, I don't think uh, we can do anything with this here, right? A stone slab that must have. That's the only uh, blue one over here. But I still don't know what's, uh, what's the color of this one. Maybe I actually need to put the coyote stone here? Let's try and put it here. No? No. To the left of the door was a stone lever. Hmm. Maybe this will work? Yeah, I think this will work. It should. I mean, it should work. Yes, finally. I'm out of here. Aha, uh -huh, so yeah. I needed to actually show this door. There was a huge doorway in the far wall. And it actually looked black. more into the unknown all right we're getting that torch and we are going down oh shit that's a lot of uh, notes here Uh, Rihanna and I arrived uh, at Zombie Island without a hitch, only by uh, confronting the cliff. Yeah, we are already got. Uh, the jungle was a maze. I eventually found a way through and have discovered a strange needle-shaped rock sticking out of the ground. 
Maybe the eye of the needle, the uh, the catch wrote about. So I have uh, stuck uh, Bronson's uh, marker on top of it. I've climbed a hill shaped like a camel's hump. By the shore, I see a pillar of rock, uh, which is uh, a straight uh, line directly beyond the needle rock. Uh, camels, needles, and treasures, and uh, treasure. All I need to do, uh, all I need to do, all I need to do, is get down to that rock pillar. For a moment, I was sure I was seeing things. A wooden stockade being attacked by pirates? But then it became clear. All I'd walked into a set of uh, a film, Treasure Island, directed by renowned third raider Carlton Hawks. Uh, these guys stood between me and the rock pillar, so I had to get in Hawks' uh, good books to reach it. Actually, you didn't, but uh, in la uh, later on, we actually did have to do that. Uh, th yeah, that's uh, the part with them with the uh, with the uh, with the movie uh, with the movie uh, with the movie scene with the uh, with the movie uh, shooting site was definitely uh, weird. Like it's uh, like the way that uh, how how did it actually uh, how did they actually block you from doing what you what you needed to do. You just could have ignored them and went down there and just, you know, got the treasure, but I guess, well... This, uh, this game isn't serious, so it's, it's probably, uh, added, uh, that, you know, you know, because... Because the game, you know, try, tr you know, try to make, try, to try its best, you know, to make, to make itself funny, and it is, it is, it is, this game is, uh... Has a lot of comic relief moments, and it, it is, it is, it is funny. It is funny. Uh, treasure line for now to Raider. The crew weren't the brightest uh, beans in uh, in the can, and I soon had them wrapped uh, around the Sobart little finger. Okay, so climbing the rock pillar as a temporarily stuntman was kind of risky, but I had to get to the treasure. Uh, Kitch's chest was mostly bills and re uh, receipts, and it had the one thing I'd been looking for, the Eagle Stone. I returned to Quartamonte City being a wanted man. I didn't hang around, but I left a message for Nico with Kanchita, explaining that I'd meet her at the Chaman's village when she returned from England. Now all I can do is wait for Nico. Once she arrives, the, once she arrives, the sha the shaman will tell us what to do with the stones. What happened to the shaman? Hiding out in the shaman's village didn't work out. Karzak and his men tracked me down and burned the village to the ground. Uh, at least I didn't have to wait long to find out what they want uh, of me. I am uh, to be sacrificed at uh, the height of the eclipse. Good old Nico. She really came up with go with goods and saved me uh, my uh, terrified butt. However, we were still caught between death and disaster, so we ran into the pyramid in the hope that this was the lesser of the two dangers. Playing with lovers is always risky, and almost immediately, uh, Nico and I were separated again. At least I have uh, Titipoko with me. Damn. Uh, leaving the lady behind? Goddamn. Damn, 99%, let's go. Let's go, viewers. The Z. Uh, the Z. I mean, the Z. Uh, is this the only thing that I have to do? Alright. Pull that shit. Cool. Onwards and downwards, Mr. Stobart. I right-clicked, by the way, so he should have uh, actually tried to describe the, the pathway. But nope, that's it. This was it. The Pyramid's central chamber. Its dark heart. Once before in my life, I had stood in front of a door and thought, this is it. If I go through there, I'm going to die. I'd been wrong then. I hoped I was wrong now. 
This was the door that led to the central chamber and the smoking mirror. Mm. You're not having a gun. Come on. Bring the torch with you. Come here. God damn it. Oh. Is that Karzak? Oh shit. That's edgy as shit. Oh shit! Oh uh, no, this book is too short! Oh no! Prison! Oh shit! Roll is alive! Damn, he left his head behind? Yep, that's it. We did it. We managed. Uh, kind of a an, an abrupt ending, which uh, I think I've actually seen that uh, seen that ending coming like that being abrupt. Because uh, yeah, I think this game is uh, I think it's had like a budget problem. Definitely, the last game didn't end like that. But hey. This is it, viewers. This is uh, it. Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror. I uh, gotta be honest, I really enjoyed the game. You know, game was, uh, games was, like, these kind of games were entertaining. Uh, the, the most important thing about this game, these kind of games, uh, uh, for me, are not the puzzles. Uh, the puzzles were alright, and, you know, most of the puzzles, uh, you know, were solvable by, you know, Hey, check everything out, and then uh, uh, once you check them out, you try to interact with them, and then you'll find something. And the, uh, the really, the, my enjoyment in these kind of games are pretty much the writing and the dialogue and the characters, and uh, they certainly delivered. Well, uh, well, the I like the uh, the very beginning of the game, but uh, one part that I actually didn't like was uh, was really the uh, Quaramonte. Part. You know, the game really uh, escalates at every step you actually get, but once you go to Quaramonte, it actually, you know, it uh, the uh, the tension of the story and the, uh, everything else actually drops a little bit down, and uh, things become a little bit slow. But it picks up uh, really quickly. Like uh, once uh, we once we uh, you know we try save. Uh, uh, Nico, we get back. But the the thing is here also the narrative actually, you know, is unstable. Sometimes you, know, I'm and I'm sure it's actually a, a budget cut. I mean, why didn't they show us uh, the conversation between uh, uh, between uh, George and uh, Conchita when he actually uh, told uh, to told her, you know? Gave her a message that he's actually going to the village, and not only that. Or, you know, uh, when uh, when uh, uh, you know the way that uh, actually uh, Nico, when she went uh, on the 
uh, in uh, on the train, and you know, should have uh, there should have been a couple of scenes that actually, you know, you know, uh, where she could try at least and try and explain herself why is she down there and whatnot. But the, all of that, I think, probably they had to animate the a train and characters and dialogues and a set of dialogues, and that will probably. Take a lot of uh, money and a lot of time, so I guess uh, that that's the reason why this uh, thing is uh, the way it is. But uh, all in all, I think this game is uh, it's good. Not the best uh, that I've played, but I've definitely en enjoyed it. Now, I was looking for it, uh, as I said uh, at the very beginning of, the, of this Let's Play, I was really... Uh, uh, looking forward to playing this game, and finally, after how many years? Uh, this game came out in uh, 1999, so wow, 20 years later, I managed... Actually, not 99, I definitely played this before 99, 1999, so... Uh, yeah, but, and probably the demo definitely came before that, so yeah... Uh, more than... 20 years have been passed, and I finally, finally finished the game, managed to play the game and finish it, which is uh, definitely a great, uh, a great, uh, great relief, like, I've always uh, fancied uh, the, uh, the Broken Sword uh, games, uh, they're, they're, uh, they are uh, well known to be a really, uh, uh, well, uh, it's a well-established series and definitely uh, are uh, fun games to play. And it's not the best. I, I gotta be honest. I mean, I mean, uh, compared to the first one, huh? Compared to the first one, I really don't know which one is better. I really don't know which one is better. Huh, I really can't tell, but uh, all in all, I think the game is uh, really good. The game is fine. The game is... Uh, uh, has characters, like good characters. I, 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 I like George. George is a really good character. He's, fun he's funny. He's, uh, and voice actor actually delivers. Uh, I think he's really good. And uh, uh, I mean... Knowing that uh, actually the uh, the voice actor will come back as George Stobart again and again in the uh, uh, in the next games that actually uh, it's actually really good because I think he uh, actually delivered he did a good job uh, playing that character his dialogue was uh, he was he is a well written character is really funny I don't think Nico is that well written though I don't think uh, you know. Any, uh, the, most of the dialogue that Nico had was, uh, she's only funny when she's around, uh, when she's, uh, around, uh, George. She kinda compliments George, but George, uh, doesn't really, uh, 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 how do you say it? George doesn't really, uh, how do you say it? George, uh, doesn't rely on her to be, you know, to uh, for him to be actually a, a good character. Unlike Nico, Nico is kind of dependent on having George around her to, to be, you know, to be at least funny or interesting. But uh, yeah, the pacing was a little bit off with the game. It was actually, especially when the with the, uh, and uh, of course I talked about the section about. Uh, how you know how the uh, the uh, the filming scene was uh, shooed in like the filming site was shooed in a little bit but hey uh, if, uh, the game was trying to do something funny so that's it oh an epilogue oh that's not an epilogue <laughs> i guess that's that huh Uh, here's the final entry, huh? I guess that's uh, that's Nico's uh, Nico's entry. Yeah, let's uh, try read uh, Nico's entry f f before we do anything. Uh, 
around for later, perhaps Andy will vote. Yeah, we soon found ourselves at a dead end, but uh, it didn't take us long to find a way through. Unfortunately, George and I have been uh, separated yet again. The pyramid was designed to keep out intruders, but the builders were no match for us. It took a little time, but I eventually arrived in the pyramid's central chamber. Karzak had already started his ceremony. George and Titipoko arrived just in time to see uh, the, the evil god emerge from the mirror. I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought it was all just a myth. What happened next was even more astonishing. Instead of showing gratitude to Karzak for releasing him, uh, the evil god killed him and sucked away his life energy. As if by instinct, we knew what to do with our stones. We inserted them into alcoves in the chamber wall. Immediately, some extraordinary powers burst into, uh, into life. They combined uh, in a binding flash to drive the evil god ba back to his, mirror, to his mirror prison forever. George and I finally got back to the fresh air, and finally we can relax. One must make up for lost time. From the look of his face, George is thinking the same thing. Hmm. What about George uh, Diary? Some weird ideas about security levels. Whoever built uh, the pyramid had some weird ideas about security. I lost to Tipoko pretty quickly. But I knew I had to press on and trust him. Uh, and trusted him uh, look uh, look after himself. I eventually reached the center chamber. What a sight! At the first, at first, I didn't realize Nico and Titipoko had arrived too. Karzak was in the middle of a ceremony to free the evil god from the mirror that has imprisoned him. The evil god was terrifying and ungrateful. He slaughtered Karzak at the moment he was freed. The evil god had to be stopped, and we had the stones to do it. Once in place, they awoke some ancient powers that blasted him back into the mirror. The pyramid shook like the world was about to end, but we imprisoned that uh, depraved god for good. The sun was setting when we finally got back outside with Nico by my side. I feel elated. Maybe now we'll get the chance to spend time relaxing together. If I could just get Titipoko to go to the movies or something... <laughs> God damn! You want uh, you know, to get rid of Titipoko? He was the champ! He was the champ! How dare you? How dare you uh, try to get rid of Titipoko? You should score him uh, with a lady. You could, uh, you could actually, you know, uh, you know, reward him with something. Show that his lady uh, of him, uh, or probably you know, uh, yeah. Show uh, the la uh, his lady, you know, how to do the monkey dance. I'm just checking if the uh, if they actually uh, gonna add some uh, some comics here, but no, no, they are not gonna add anything. So yeah, viewers, this is it. This is uh, this is it for the game. Yeah. W w uh, last thing that I want to say. Yeah, it was uh, as I said before. The the uh, the, uh, the scene with the the section with the uh, with the with the film site kind of shoe kind of shoe uh, shoehorned in like. Yeah, I like George could have just ignored them and went down and climbed up the uh, the rock needle and got the treasure and that's it. But for some reason it got stopped. But hey, uh, it had like good characters. It, it was a good it was a good thing and the, that's the most important thing about the game. It's actually trying to make to make it enjoyable f uh, first and form uh, first and foremost. But yeah, it actually need to, uh, you need to, uh, it need to take uh, its story seriously. But this game is not that kind of a game. If it's actually serious, that would be. Uh, 
really bad for the game. It would really suck actually for the game. It would make the game really boring. But this game actually tries to be funny, and it actually succeeds uh, most of the time. I I gotta be honest, I really did enjoy it. I genuinely was laughing at some of these jokes. and um, I probably was smiling most of the time I was playing this game, which is that it delivers. It delivers. It definitely delivers. Broken Sword to the Smoke and Mirror is a good. Mi is a. Is a. It's an old game. As a, is it actually worth to. To visit an old game like this? If you're a fan of the uh, point and click genre, I think yeah. I think yeah. I don't think it's the most uh, funny game. No, not at all, but it is an enjoyable experience. It is an enjoyable experience and... Uh, and... Uh, the series is st still has uh, three more games to offer. Uh, the last one of them was uh, actually a Kickstarter project, and you know, and I still haven't seen any of it. But uh, I heard uh, that uh, the game is uh, uh, the uh, the game uh, actually is okay, from what I've heard. Well, I actually played the third game, and it was uh, it, it changed itself from being a a. Uh, a uh, point and click uh, game. It changed itself to uh, an adventure game, something similar to uh, a game called uh, Dreamfall: The Longest Journey. It, it is in in uh, in its heart, it's, it is actually a point and click game. But actually, you know, you have you have the freedom to move around uh, as you know as an action character, and, but. Uh, the characters are there, the dialogue is still there. I don't think that game is uh, memorable, to be honest. It's been ages since I played it, but I don't think it's memorable. I might actually give it to revisit, I really have no uh, idea. Probably might do that, probably not. Have no idea. But I have never played the fourth and the fifth game, and I will try my best to actually visit these games as soon as possible. So, all right, viewers. This is it for Broken Sword 2: The Smoking Mirror. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Uh, you uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the let's play. I definitely did. The game was fun, and uh, hopefully, I'm gonna catch you guys in another let's play. Probably another uh, Broken Sword games. I still, as I said before, I still uh, haven't played all of them. I'm aiming to do that. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this let's play, and I'm gonna see you uh, soon. So, this is gonna be it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in another let's play. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.